So in this topic, we uh, talked about measuring weight and liquid volume. Another word for weight is mass. And in third grade, we mostly call it weight, but it's important to know that it's also called mass uh, because later on, that's uh, what you will talk about it as. And we also discussed liquid volume. And liquid volume is also called capacity. And it's just important to know that these are synonyms for each other. Weight is mass, liquid volume is capacity. Um, so that when you see either of them, you know what we're talking about. So, in this discussion, um, for weight or mass, we were measuring in the what are called the metric units, and we used the units of a gram, uh, which is about the weight of a paperclip, and its abbreviation is G. Oops. And we also talked about kilograms. Kilograms are abbreviated kg. And a kilogram weighs about the weight of a big book, maybe like a dictionary. And so what we talked about here is we started solving word problems that involve grams and kilograms, and we talked a lot about what makes sense for weighing something. And if you were going to weigh your pencil, um, you would measure it in grams. If you were going to weigh yourself, you would weigh yourself in kilograms. Um, you could weigh yourself in grams, but it would be many, many grams. And let's talk about that for a second. One kilogram equals 1,000 grams. Um, that's what kila means. Uh, a kilogram is 1,000 grams. A kilometer is 1,000 meters. A kiloton is 1,000 tons, etc. Um, so one kilogram can be decomposed into 10 groups of 100 grams. Um, so 100 grams times 10 or uh, and then the, the those groups of 100 grams could be also decomposed. So 100 grams is 10 grams times 10, and it would be times 10 again to make that kilogram. 10 groups of 10 groups of 10, if you would, and you can even decompose that further into 1 gram groups, and there'd be 10 of them in each 10 gram group and 10 groups of those to make a 100 gram group and times 10 of, to make the kilogram. Um, but the important relationship is this relationship here, the, that one ki kilogram equals 1,000 grams and then that can be decomposed into smaller groups like 100 gram groups and there would be 10 of those to a kilogram. So the other uh, type of measurement that we studied was liquid volume or capacity. And we did this also in the metric system with liters and milliliters. A liter is um, 1,000 milliliters, which has a lot of I's and L's in it. And a liter is about the size of a water bottle, um, a good size water bottle, and like a Nalgene, and a, and a milliliter is like a drop of water. Um, in class, we modeled this by actually I dropped a milliliter of water onto each person's hand to feel what that would feel like. So a milliliter is very small. In milli, um, means one thousandth, one, one thousand parts in it. So, um, uh, like a millipede it doesn't really have a thousand legs, but that's why it's called a millipede, because people think it looks like it has a thousand legs. But a milliliter has 
is is one one thousandth of a liter, um, and it takes a thousand milliliters to make a liter. And, and same with like a milligram. We talked about kilograms, which is one thousand liters. Well, it take uh, what? Sorry, a kilogram is one thousand grams, and it takes one thousand milligrams to make a milliliter. Uh, to make a gram. And just like with the uh, grams, um, we can decompose the liter into smaller parts. Like, for example, our one liter is the same as a thousand milliliters, or ten groups of a hundred milliliters, or a hundred groups of ten milliliters, etc. And we could do also more reasoning uh, with these kinds of problems, like. Um, a, a jug of milk, is, uh, you know, a gallon jug of milk, so that can be more or less than a liter. Well, that's more than a liter. You know, is a um, is the amount of salad dressing that you're going to put on your salad more or less than a liter? Well, it's less than a liter. You probably measure that in milliliters. The other things we copy, uh, covered in this topic uh, were estimating and rounding. Uh, we're at the beginning of that, and um, we covered some word problems. I'm not going to cover them in this video, though. Uh, you go on to the next video about topic C for more about estimating, and we cover word problems a, a lot, so uh, I'm not going to cover that specially here.